Anne, do you want to see Jank talking sh to me on his election night coverage? He's too jank pilled. He loves, for the record, for those who don't know, he f loves jank. <laughs> he does. That's not even a joke. And I think that has like contributed to his political commentary. He's no longer getting caught pushing, uh, what's his face? Like Michael Bloomberg and shit. Charlemagne has gotten quite libbed up. Bro, D apparently does too, which is insane. What do you mean? Jank pilled? Destiny is jank pilled? Oh God. That spells trouble for whatever the Jank has been saying lately. I didn't even realize. What is this? The Jank writer that D likes? What? You could be a leftist doing your little cute stream and go, oh, dude, I know, man. And there's no crime. It's about, you know, yeah, I know everything. Oh, my God. Is he talking shit about me? What the fuck? Well, yeah, then why did Prop 36 win easily? Why did George Gascon lose? Why did all the. Yeah, because everyone is crime pill, dog. What do you mean? Wait. There's no way he's saying that like crime rates, crime rates uh, getting lower and lower in places like California is fake, right? Is that what he's saying? We're so cooked. Society as a whole, throw it in the fucking trash, dude. That's crazy. He's calling you out. Yeah, we got to do another Thanksgiving, dude. I got to get my facts ready, oiled up, greased up, ready to go. Thanksgiving is going to pop off this year. Now nah, we're probably going to agree on a lot, as always. Progressives, so-called progressives in Portland lose, in Seattle lose, San Francisco lose, New York lose. Why did you lose every goddamn election? It's so funny. Like, what happened? So Larry Krasner is just fake now? He doesn't exist? Like, there are no, no progressive DAs around the country? Also, like, once again, are we just so devoid of doing a fact-based analysis on this stuff? Like, is that... Who's he talking about for real? No, he's talking about me when he said, oh, on your Twitch stream, you act like crime doesn't exist. Weird, dude. <laughs> I didn't know he had this level of smoke for me. God damn. Unk, that's messed up. I still love you, but I got to bring Murad in here. Hold on. He has to see this. One second. He's going to love this shit. One moment. Shots! Shots! Hey, come here. Who do you think this, uh, what do you think of this video? Hold on. Oh, you want to, you want the mic? Okay. I'll turn on the mic for you. For that, you have to think about the voters. You could be a leftist doing your little cute stream and go, oh, dude, I know, man. And there's no crime. It's about, you know, yeah, I know everything. Well, you know, then why did Prop 36 win easily? Why did George Gascon lose? Why did all the progressives, so-called progressives in Portland lose, in Seattle lose, San Francisco lose, New York lose? Why did you lose every goddamn election if you know so much? No, because you know what? I've got it because I'm such a genius. I have this revolutionary idea that apparently the online leftist clown asses has I've never thought of. People don't like to be attacked. <gasps> I'm so confused. Who who do who do you think he's talking about <laughs> when he's doing this? But like, you have to think about the voters. <laughs> you could be a leftist doing your little cute stream and go, oh, dude, what? I know, man, and there's no crime. It's but. You know, yeah, I know everything. Well, right, and then why the problem? I'm so confused. Is he saying that the Democrat policy was anti-crime? No, he, he's. I, I, I know. I understand. He's you know the stuff about the streamers, but like. No, he he's saying that like people don't like crime, and they are noticing a a lot of crime happening around them, and that leftist streamers are stupid for saying that like. Crime rates are down, and this is a purely media-created panic. And he's saying, like, oh, I know everything. I know all the facts. <laughs> well, what happened to your facts? People are stupid, and they're voting, <laughs> voting against the reality with overwhelming amounts of propaganda, including but not limited to the Young Turks, it seems, on this issue. <sighs> yeah, I'm staying out of this. <sighs> Aren't we going to see him later? Oh, you're coming? Now I, now I, I kind of want to see him. All right. Report this to Anne. No, Anne is like, Anne is in between, okay? Anne is in her own world. She's in her own world. She's not, she's not a part of this. <laughs> now, if the crime had happened in the 17th century, she'd be all about it. He's also beefing with a Vanguard right now. It might not be you specifically. Vanguard? Who's that? Who's that? I don't know. I think it's like another uh, leftist uh, outlet. Like, like the private equity group? No, no, no. Vanguard is like a leftist uh, podcast or something. You should review his debate with Jordan Yule on TYT if wokeness cost the election. 
Wait, he is not saying that wokeness cost the election. Please tell me he's not. Is Jenks saying wokeness cost the election? The Vanguard is a pair of streamers from MO. He called them silly and Billy. <laughs> he's got he's got so much swag. Let him cook. Yeah. All right. Well, I just wanted you to see that. I wanted you to watch that. Can we get a video of the conversation later? No. <clears throat> we will not be I will not be taping my family outing with Unk. Okay? Unk farting on you. What the f he was making fun of your long hair, quick grow it back. Oh, wait, maybe he is talking about someone else then. Maybe he's not talking about me. I mean, it, it does it does fit the bill. Guys, Janksgiving is very soon. It's coming up soon. Like, it's going to happen. Oh, God, I'm so excited. I love Janksgiving. I love Thanksgiving in general, but Janksgiving is, like, one of my favorite parts. R slash I'm the main character. Dog, this is my uncle. <laughs> Talking about streamers. Like, it's not that crazy. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what are we doing anymore, man? I don't know. This is what he's on about. Jane Kruger fires back at Vanguard and live TYT Meltdown. Silly and Billy. One of the Vanguard has long hair confirmed. Okay, that makes sense. That's, maybe he was talking about the Vanguard. No, don't confront him off camera. No, I still... <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm not going to talk to my uncle off camera because content. <laughs> He's my uncle. I love him. What the f We're a wire. Oh, Jesus. I used to always talk about how, like, I don't have an immediate family member who was, like, radicalized by the things that he has seen in the media into having, like, reactionary positions. And it's kind of cool that, like, it's kind of cool that now I do have one. You know what I mean? Like, not across the board, but definitely on an increasingly concerning number of different uh, issues. <laughs> She's disappointed in you for an obvious. Oh. Anne, do you want to see Jank talking shit to me on his election night coverage? I'll show it to you later. I'll play it. I'll play it at dinner. Uh, she said, I'm sure he has a lot more videos to show of you. As in, that's a remark stating that I make too much, too many jokes at the expense of her brother that's what she said that's what her retort was i feel like i defend jank quite sufficiently that's my uncle all right you deploy a tactical the uncle nephew bond is unbreakable the same way someone deploys it not to be disrespectful but a precursor to scathing critique every time yeah except it's true though the uncle nephew bond is unbreakable and i do love my uncle so it's true all right that's it for tonight i gotta go i'm gonna go spend some time with family Anyway, love you guys. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. Peace, everybody. Love you all. Bye.